the in in the context of the election, it, 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 it it's interesting that this has come out now because, like we discussed last week, it seems quite likely that Ger that Keir Starmer is going to be the next Prime Minister of Britain. And what's his proposal for for addressing any of these issues? What's that? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Right. <laughs> like, like literally, like literally nothing. And Rishi and, Sunak says, "You don't need a job. You can just go to the military." Well, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Well, it's like I mean, I think if we, we load up this this rather astonishing clip of uh, little Rishi Sunak. Um, uh, they have made national service the kind of centerpiece of their election campaign. Um, is that it, it, it's deeply unpopular, and I do wonder whether it's a deliberate attempt to to lose. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, but he has proposed cutting off people's bank access to bank accounts to force them to uh, be conscripted into the military. Um, that's like pretty astonishing. Yeah. Um, when I was growing up, uh, even though I might add that Britain is the only country in Europe that allows people who are 16 to enroll in the military, not, not a lot of people know this, uh, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the only European country that effectively allows child soldiers to be part of its national military. Um, the There was a huge stigma around national service. Um, I am old enough to remember when a number of the countries in Eastern Europe, when they were joining the EU, them ending national service was a core... A prerequisite. Yeah, yeah. a prerequisite. Um, and I think that now um that the shift is in the opposite direction where there is like a lot of pressure despite like widespread public opposition yeah to implement this and it's happening all over um, we'll, we'll, and we'll talk about that in a sec do you want yeah. me to play the sunak video 51 yeah. seconds national service will be compulsory the military option will be something that people okay. choose to do oh, i see so how will you make people do it sorry if national service is going to be compulsory how will you make people do it well, you'll have a set of sanctions and incentives, and we will look at the models that are existing around Europe to like get the appropriate mix of those. There's a range of different options that exist. For example? There's all sorts of things that people do across Europe, whether that's looking at driving licences, other access to finance, all sorts of other things. The right thing to do access is to, to allow... Access to finance? Yes. So if people don't want to do national service, what, you're going to take their bank cards away? What do no, you no, there's, there's access. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's lots of different they models around load. Europe. There's lots of different models around Europe. This is being done in multiple countries I in Europe. I don't doubt it. I'm just asking you what you think. So th there's a range of things, and we will have a royal commission look at all of those, come back to the government and recommend okay. what the appropriate mix of incentives and sanctions okay. is. So there you have it, Rishi Sunak uh, offering up sanctions as a solution to, uh, to beat the draft dodgers. Yeah, That's indeed, a word indeed. I didn't think I would hear this <laughs> century. I'm, I'm declaring war on draft dodgers. <laughs> like, but it's just, I mean, it, it's, 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 really, it's really quite astonishing, just like the fact, the mere fact that this could be proposed yeah. on, well, at least w without main, mainstream controversy is, I think it's just, it's a sign of A, how utterly disconnected mainstream politics is from like reality and, yeah. and public opinion. But also, it's just, it, it, yeah, it's a, it's a reflection of, of, of how far we've fallen. Um, it just, like, since the start of this, since the start of the proxy war. And I was warning at the very, to anyone who would listen, we need to de-escalate and just try and, like, um, uh, ensure that this ends as rapidly as possible. Because such is the spirit of wars. Um, it's very easy to get into them. It's very difficult to get out of That's them. That's right. And they often spin way out of control real quick. Like when Britain sent soldiers to um, uh, to France to defend against Germany, they were meant to be home within six months. Is that right? And then it was like four years of like grinding. Trench. <laughs> like, like, like <laughs> trench warfare with yeah. like millions of people being killed and like maimed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so we have, we have the US, uh, <laughs> unsurprisingly following in Britain's footsteps, uh, as we discussed last yeah. show. Uh, Congress debates expanded draft amid military recruitment challenges. Republicans and Democrats are weighing proposals to extend military conscription to women and to make registration automatic. Both proposals face an up uphill battle to becoming law. Yeah, we're all out of honey now. It's That's all right. vinegar. It's all vinegar. <laughs> and, it's just like, it's like it, 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 join the military or we will steal your money. It's like an intercept style, yeah. like, like fundraising approach. <laughs> like, but, but, um, but yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So, and I think that yeah, as you've um, as you've noted, um, several NATO member countries, including Latvia, have reintroduced conscription. Others are doing it 
um uh this is just again spinning out of control like real fast um yeah. and yeah i i think that a, lot, a large number of people who were like all in on just sent like <laughs> giving ukraine nukes and indeed like you know encouraging them to strike moscow are you know now probably very 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 anti-conscription <laughs> because yeah. they don't actually want to fight well, in this war that they maybe, have a huge I, mean, for. I at the risk of sounding like uh the band on your t-shirt mm. you know it won't be their sons and daughters going off to die will it no you know no. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.